Hello, everyone. I know there's been so many people that wanted me to make this video. And here we are. Classic Joust has returned. The map that I got number one in the world in. Um, and honestly, the map I started my channel in. The map I started basically the, the past decade of my life in. It's extremely sentimental to me. And, um, you know, I, I'm one of the oldest, if I, I am the oldest dual content creator and I was brought up on this map by some extraordinary players who taught me everything I know. And, um, it, it means, I mean, this map means a lot to me and they're bringing it back boys. Now, if you didn't know joust and duel have had many maps across my history that have all had their own unique successes and failures as new experiment will be rotating in. Classic Joust map as default map for all normal and ranked Joust and dual matches. So it's it's not permanent. <clears throat> it's being rotated, obviously. Um, and I think they're going to... I don't know how long they're going to rotate it. Let me see. The map fits thematically with Morgan LeFay's arrival. And we'll also be seeing a variety of balance and tuna, uh, tuning changes. Here's where it switches. From normal. From, from back when I, you know, started creating content. The red buff will now feature, have a new feature, I should say, where it enhances at the 10 minute mark to provide unusual bonuses plus an additional percentage damage increase to towers and phoenixes to mitigate the base defense issue, which was, if you don't know or don't remember or don't even, un if you didn't know this was a map. So the phoenix, as you can see, is completely locked into a corner right here, right? You can't gank it in any direction. You can't go around and backdoor it. There, there's no way to kill this Phoenix without having to kill your enemy. So it makes it extremely easy to camp. That was the main issue with, um, with this dual map in the past was everyone, it would be an extremely high tank meta. People would get super tanky and sit under the Phoenixes until the two hour mark. And you would want to rip your eyeballs out. So that's why they're implementing this percentage tower, uh, percentage damage increase to towers and phoenixes to mitigate that a little bit. Uh, there will be significant changes to the pace players earning gold and XP to make the curve feel more natural. Basically, you could get level twenty in like eight minutes back then. <laughs> so it's a little bit changed. Um, Plan to keep classic joust map as the active joust map for multiple updates, but depending on feedback and metrics that could always change, might even start dusting off the season three joust map as another possible rotation. So basically they're just saying based on what you guys think and based on the, um, you know, the, the audience, the fans and the feedback, they're going to change maps. So like they said in the very beginning they're, um, the, it's not a permanent map. It is a rotational experience they're trying to do with this map, the season three map, the, um, and the current map. So, uh, we've had many maps obviously in the future or in, in dual, uh, this map, uh, for season one and season two, then the season three map for three, four and five, and then the current map for six, seven and eight. Um, so it's, it's a little new. It's a little crazy. I wish we were getting a new map. I mean, it's pretty fucking cool. Don't get me wrong. I love this map, but, um, I wish it would be new. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I have so much love for this map. It's where I started. It's where nostalgia hits. You know, you, you boot up a Pokemon game and you see all your Pokemon. You're like, damn, this game fucks. You know, this game's amazing. I love it. You know, it, I have the same feeling with this map. Um, you know, I, I stream, obviously. I'm not streaming right now, but I stream and I have, you know, multiple thousands of people ask me, you know, what's my favorite map in the, that you've played since the very beginning, since preseason, before season one was even out? What's your favorite map? And I, every time it's this map. I don't know why. I don't know why. It, there was there, a clear issue right here with defending the Phoenixes and the Titan was buggy uh, because the, there's a wall right here. You see, you could just, uh, if after you got the Phoenix down, you could just stand right here on this line and kill the Titan and the Titan would never aggro on you. It's fixed now. So it, the Titan will aggro on you. So, I mean, you know, that's obviously not an issue, but like, even with bugs like that, I love the map. I, don't, I can't explain it. But we'll go a little bit more into the map. So right here. Classic Joust map will be replaying, uh, replacing current Joust map and all normal rank queues. 
both JavaScript maps will be available for custom games. All changes here apply to all um, 3 3 and 1v1 modes, unless otherwise specified. They increase the XP split bonus for this is only for Joust. Uh, lane minions are now the same ones from season 7 because lane minions have changed multiple, multiple times over the course of this um, game's history. Jungle camps all have pre timers. So this is where it gets weird. Back in the day, you'd have to guess. <laughs> Now they all have pre-timers. Jungle camps now use the same monsters and base stats and rewards from Conquest without their abilities. So speed buff is not dual speed buff. It, well, it is dual speed buff, but it's different. So dual speed buff would give you 15% um, I think it's 15% uh, attack speed and 15% movement speed or 10% movement speed, 15% attack speed, whatever. In Conquest, it only gave you movement speed, no attack speed, and that's what it's going to be in, in this duel right here. So speed buff changed. In duel, it no longer gives you attack speed. Just remember that. You're going to need to. Uh, attack speed builds won't be enhanced by speed buff anymore in duel. Um, secondly, they will not use their abilities. So if you're a jungler or, you know, if you're a mid laner, you know these abilities like... Um, or solo like blue will spawn little ghosts that that come by him right and help him out red will spawn or red will get enhanced after 50 percent health and do twice as fast attacks on you speed buff will do that like knock back boom and like chunk monkey you they will not have those abilities in duel um i don't know why honestly i kind of like them but uh maybe it's because they don't expect one person to be able to manage all of it, I suppose. And um, jungle stats uh, and rewards now scale every two minutes, which I think they do in Conquest. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing really new there. It is kind of new that, like I said, the speed buff doesn't give attack speed. It's, it's you know, it's whatever. But the main part, you know, red buff, blue buff, Speed buff, you you understand those. You can read them there. Nothing changed other than the attack speed on speed. This is the biggest deal. At 10 minutes, so the 10 minute mark of the game, both damage buff camps become enhanced. So as you see up here, there is two blues, two speeds, and two reds. Six buffs on the map. Um, both of these red buffs in the middle will become enhanced at the 10 minute mark, giving you 30% increased damage to towers and phoenixes. Yes, that opens up for backdoor potential. That is the point. Do not comment saying, oh my God, backdoors. It's going to happen because that's, that's the point of this is you're supposed to be able to just tank a person and kill a phoenix because this phoenix is the whole issue. The map didn't work in the first place. So I love it. I like I, I from somebody that's experienced like three thousand dual games on this map. I love this change, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Uh, I just think it's the best. I, th I think it's the best way to go about the Phoenix camping, right? Like you could debuff the enemy for standing in the Phoenix for more than like thirty seconds at a time. But then what the hell are they gonna do? If there's a minion wave coming in right when the debuff hits, you just lose your Phoenix. You know, it's there's it's there's so many niche situations that people are like, oh my god, what if you did this? What if you did this? What if you did this? Um, but I think this is probably the most clinical way to go about the Phoenix camping, as well as adding on to this. The Phoenix HP five right now is forty. Um, so every five seconds it heals forty HP reduced to a quarter of that bitch you can't you, you, you can't if your phoenix is 50 percent hp you got to camp another 15 minutes for that bitch to be full hp and while camping make sure you get the red buffs or else you're going to lose your phoenix so i love it dude I, I i think the updates they did to this map which again my favorite map in dual period the updates they did to this map to get rid of the Phoenix camping, fixing the Titan bug and enhancing the buffs. I think it's going to be amazing. I really do. I, I, I've always 
love this map. And I think, you know, maybe they've put a twist on a classic that might make it better. Um, and I, I, I'm super excited about it. Also, you know, if you care, art's been updated. I don't know if that matters at all, but it has been updated. So yeah, that's super cool. And now we're going to just run into the map. Let me uh, invite a boy. We're going to load in the map and have a look around. Obviously, I'm going to be Morgan Le Fay because why wouldn't you? What does this look like? This looks kind of too frilly for me, like too much like a princess. She's a badass warrior. Well, I can't. There we go. This looks, looks more like hell, you know, like I'm a beat ass. I just want to make sure Northcraft didn't say anything. Cool. I, so I, just to say, I love it, dude. I love this, the, the map and here I will show you what the map looks like from in the game. I was driven away from the I'll just grab this and sprint and show you around. So, you got your Titan room. It's pretty normal. It's exactly what it used to be like. Like I said, you used to be able to stand here and kill the Titan just like this. Uh, and they fixed it. So now whenever you cross this Titan line right here, um, it will automatically aggro on you. So you can't do that anymore. This is the main issue. Phoenix obviously has no flank points. You know, you can see down there. Um obviously extremely clear and see down there extremely clear and you know so there's no flank points so i think that red buff enhancement at 10 minutes is a really really great idea this is the lane um towers me the lane is very thin compared to the new lanes um and there's much less ganking in this as well so like in the other in the new map i guess or the old map at this point uh there's a lot more gank potential here. You can't really gank in this map because it's just like straight lines. Like you, you just see everything. And here's where it's cool. You have your speed, your red, and your blue. And then what do you have directly after that? Their speed, their red, and their blue. Now, oftentimes people call this their blue, this their speed, and both of these their red. <laughs> But uh, in my case, this is my blue, this is my speed, and this is my red. That's how I kind of handle it. Why do I get this speed buff rather than this one? Um, Honestly, because it's closer to invading. This distance between the red and the speed is closer than this distance between the red and the blue. Um, Which is why I like it more uh, to go for this one than this one. That's pretty much all there is. Um... Well, like you, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious, right? There's not much to do here, right? You just, you're just killing stuff. And uh, as you see here, the red buff, you know, it's not using its ability. Like they said, the red buff is still completely normal. Like it is until the 10 minute mark when it's enhanced. And yeah, I mean like this stuff, it's all, I mean, it's exactly how I remember it. I love it. I love it. The buffs spawn in a little late. Uh, I think at like the three second mark instead of the zero second mark, which I don't understand. I think that's weird and probably a bug. But we're not going to talk about that. But um, yeah, overall, I mean, this is what the map looks like. In my opinion, amazing. I love it. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. And if, uh, if maybe I'm being too sentimental about it because I really think with the changes, you know, I think with the changes they made to it, fixing the Titan, fixing the Phoenix, camping after the 10 minute mark, and potentially even just, you know, adding an extra route like through this corner right here, I think would be insane. Uh, there's just so much you could do with this map and, and so much potential for it. I love it. I want to know what you guys think. I will respond to the comments whether it be on this account or my hyperman account just know i do have a, a an account on youtube called hyperman 94 that not only do i post kind of shitty videos on but also um i comment on so you see that that's me i love you guys thank you so much for hearing my thoughts out on this video and on this map 
And I'm looking forward to reading the comments. I love you. Peace.